Welcome back to my channel and today we're going to talk about these nails. Get into it, get closer, get closer, get see them. You know it. Just let me talk to you real quick. Get golly real quick with you. What you know, you know uh, pretty women in line, swear to God that they fine Hate that I don't have time, but love that I go for mine My sexy lady, fantasize by Mercedes Can't afford the lady Hello cool cats, girls and ghouls <laughs> I'm annoying So this is my updated nail routine um, I'm going to show you guys today how to get Instagram nails You know Instagram nails, those are some really, really long nails that you can't really do nothing with That we've been wearing for centuries and years But you get what I'm trying to say you know where I'm going with this. So I decided to get my nails as long as possible because that's just who I am inside personally, like truly, honestly, truly. This is really who I am. But I've been working in corporate America for so long. Even the ones that I had that were short to me, people would be like, those are so long. And I'd be like, <laughs> I could do worse, sweetie. So I'm really enjoying this time of being outlandish and outrageous and very BAPS-ish. I'm loving it, to be honest. Mick loving it. So one of the main differences between this tutorial and my last tutorial, this one is definitely updated because this is a new type of nail that I'm using. I have to keep putting my nails in the frame so y'all get the picture. That was a bar. Gotta keep putting my nails in the frame so you get the picture. That's a bar, bro. That's a bar. Roll the tape, watch this video. Okay, first I'm gonna go ahead and clean my nails with an alcohol wipe because I'm responsible. Next, I'm going ahead and filing my nails. So this is pretty much like my other tutorial that I'll put, um, if you click at the top right now, you can see a more detailed in depth um, tutorial of how I do my nails. But right now I'm just sawing off the top layer, probably damaging them things. Okay, so these are the ballerina coffin nails. They're in the description box. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and see which ones fit my nails the best. Sometimes they don't fit like all the way and then that's when we're gonna start filing. So we want it to look basically like we have acrylic. So you want the nail to look like it's actually your nail. That's what acrylic typically looks like unless you're doing like heavy, like you want a hump or something. I hate the hump. I like it to look just really flat and natural, which is why I file a bit more. Next, I'm taking my glue and just putting a droplet. I actually intended to use the, the na actual nail glue because I use that more often now than the Gorilla Glue since I do this to my nail so often. But I literally ran out, so I had to use Gorilla Glue anyway. So as you guys know, you're gonna put the base of your nail and just fold it over, pushing down. So you can, you can actually see, especially with the clear nails, the liquid spreading around your nail. So you can see that the glue is actually adhering to your nail, the artificial nail, and your nail. And I'm just doing a small drop. You don't need to like cake it on your nails. Make sure to do these straight because they can get crooked. And once they're crooked, you have to take them all off. And it's best if you take them off correctly instead of just ripping them off. It's best you kind of soak it off for like five seconds. It doesn't take that much. So I'm doing my little pinky dinky, folding over, and I'm gonna push down in the center like that. Be careful when you're pushing down because you can bruise your nail. Um, I don't know why that's a thing, but I found that out. Like you've been to the nail shop and the next day your hands were like sore. That's kind of what it would be like. Um, so I'm doing the other hand. Of course, I sped this one up. And if you guys want a, a very detailed video on how you can make these look as natural as possible in terms of the filing, let me know. Give me a thumbs up and I'll do it. I just don't want to add it to this video because it's already kind of long for me. And now I'm going to go ahead and file the top just a little bit because when you get these nails, it's almost like there is like it was connected to a track. It's kind of hard to explain, but you just want to file the top. If you, buy, if you get them, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Just file the top of them just a little bit. I don't like to go overboard because um, I don't like having different size nails because I just went in on one nail. So I decided to go with green and I had a, a definitely a woman problem. Like these are actually not the same color. They look like it. it looks like I'm crazy, but one was lighter. This one was more of a pastel green and that was kind of more the look that I was going for. Okay, and this is kind of my thing now. I started with when I did blue, 
where I did like all lighter colors and then my pointer and my thumb I did a different color and I just ended up really liking it so I actually realized that I have a lot of colors that are similar but just a little bit off next I think I'm gonna do purple like this that's my next thing so I did pastels on the other one I'm taking like a deeper green this one's like a slime Nickelodeon green it shows you how old I am granny and then on my thumb I'm gonna do a forest green I actually wanted a green in between this slimy color and the forest green that I do but I didn't have nothing so I was like I'm just gonna go with this baby they gonna get this work today and by they I mean the insects in my apartment because I can't go nowhere because quarantine okay now and I'm doing the same thing on the other hand except instead of doing the forest green on the thumb I usually do the darker color on the pointer on the other hand I just feel like this is just like my new style you know what I'm saying like you know how some people like have just like one blonde streak in their hair like this is me I should do a blonde streak but for now to save the damage of the curls we're just gonna play with the nails for now um, so I did two coats and then now I'm doing clear it was so hard for me to film this because I'm not good at painting nails a and then B I had to make sure that I was like kind of in the frame so hope you guys like it anyway if you do like it please thumbs up and share it please try it and then let me know on my Instagram my Instagram is at L I I N G K O N G Lin Kong let me know how it goes baby mama want to see As always, it is time for the 7th annual wear test. Can you plug that in, sister? Those nails are pretty long. Can you cut things up? Look at that. She can barely cut. Look at her. Look at her hands. <laughs> can you write? She can write. Good job. Oh, the Windex. Skirt, skirt. Yep, you did good. Thank you for tuning in for the 7th annual wear test. Thank you guys if you made it this far. I'm glad you guys continually watch me week after week after week after week. But to be honest, do you really have anything else better to do? I mean, you didn't see everything on Instagram. Come over to YouTube. I'm going to do this, though. These nails are perfect for this, honestly. I can tell anything to come and I feel like it would. Let me just catch 10 racks right now. Let's come. Just give it a minute. Let's all just walk. Let's just walk. Perfect. <laughs>